I'm Sally Newell Cohen, Chief Operating Officer of Toastmasters International. I'll be sharing the story of Toastmasters Pathways learning experience with you. Pathways could not have been developed without the help of thousands of members from around the world. Early on, member research was conducted, and we found that members liked the current program, but there were a few things missing, and something was holding them back from achieving their goals. Members wanted future improvements to include more relevant skills and access to online tools, tips, and resources. They wanted flexibility and more choices to help them grow. Now we used this information to build the foundation of the program. But as we began to develop the content, we knew that we needed to bring in members to validate our assumptions and to get their feedback to ensure that we were being true to the Toastmasters experience. The Learning Masters were the first team of members to help us with Pathways. In 2012, we put out a call for volunteers and thousands of members applied. Now, Pat Johnson, the past international president, led the team of Learning Masters. And ultimately, she selected 20 Learning Masters per region with varying experience. She chose long-term members, short-term members, and members who were working through many different stages of the education program, as well as those who had instructional design backgrounds and those who did not. The Learning Masters were instrumental through the entire development process. They gave us feedback on the icebreaker and transformed that project as well as many others. Now at the same time, we put out a call for chief ambassadors and selected one per district. We now have a team of 102 chief ambassadors who are the chief communicators, cheerleaders, and advocates for Pathways in their districts. Chief ambassadors also have their own team of ambassadors who are the spokespeople for the program at the local level. Now from 2012 to 2015, all of the content for Pathways was developed, which included the creation of 59 projects. And when the projects were completed, we turned to members again and asked them to participate in the content pilot, the first ever at Toastmasters. There were 168 clubs in 22 countries that participated and every language was represented. This was huge. Each project was evaluated at least six times to make sure it worked in the club environment. And the feedback was highly positive. We also received constructive feedback that was implemented and changes were made based on that feedback. Now the collaboration with members was powerful and vital. It kept us true to the Toastmasters experience while meeting all the needs that members had told us about in the research. Pathways is a far better program because members have been a part of it.